Hey, let's go. Haven't actually been raided. This is awesome. Server is populated. Wow. That's a big one. Little base over there I might like to raid later. A little bit of that decay action. Ah, I'm tempted to break into that actually. I can get fire arrows and break into that. I think I'm just going to need some low grade. That might have to come in a bit. Okay, so how are we all going guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today, big things planned. Big, big things. Obviously, day two of the wipe. First time I've been on since you saw last episode. If you didn't see it, please do go check it out. Um, just so you know where we're at. But I need to get scrap. I need to find blueprints. Because we are going to need to go and hit up these barrels and these boxes. Random high wood wall there. See if we can maybe raid that today. But we need to get our hands on a bean can, a satchel, hopefully a sword, some armor, some guns, etc, etc, etc. But yeah, here's our base, as you all know and love it. Yeah, let's... Let's get into this one. As always guys, please do drop a like on the video if you are excited for this one. Really, really motivates me to keep producing content, editing, recording, everything for you guys. So please do and leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the episode after you've watched it. But yeah, let's get into this let's go and see what we can do. Okay, let's start things off today by getting ourselves some barrels. I think this could be the best way to get some crude oil. Plus it's going to get us some... Oh, there's a dude. Oh my goodness. Oh, it shoots at me because I have a crossbow out. Good to know. Please go for somebody else. Please. Okay. They decided to go for somebody good. Okay, that's fine. Wood door over there. That's our, that's our raid target for the day, hopefully. Just got to get some utensils. I don't really want to do it with the ochres. I will do if I have to, though. If I leave it, probably a IRL hour. If I haven't got stuff to do that silently, I'll do it with the ochres. What? Ow. Ow! Christ, that guy was lagging all over the shop. Oh, green key card, that's what I wanted. I just gotta go heal up for a second before I go back. Plus, I'm stacked. Yeah, I don't wanna dump this stuff before I go back for that green key card. Because I just, I was thinking to myself, literally just then, as I was going through just doing sats and stuff, I really, really could do with finding a green key card because then we could try and get the blue key card and then go over to water treatment or something. So that is really, really good because I've got an abundance of fuses as well. So yeah, that is really good. I love living so close to a rad, to rad towns, guys. Honestly, it's the best thing. Especially satellites these days. Satellites are becoming quickly becoming one of my favourite rad towns to live at. Right, let's get this bad boy done. Is there a box in there? There's nothing actually in there. Someone's already done it. Which sucks. I wonder if they've left a fuse in here by accident. They have not. Oh, hi. There you go. Why? 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 No, he's not. No, whoa, 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 whoa! I wasn't, I wasn't calling you. A, why, why was he called? Oh, stole my fucking health there. Like what? Oh, he's still shooting at me. Is that with a revolver from that range? Get out of town, son. Right, so that's already been done, so we've got to come back in a bit. No big deal. Okay, the wise thing to do is travel a little bit further to Train Yard. We have around the roof camper that lives next door to water treatment and recycle or recycle. Uh, burn this stuff. This is only half my crude oil, just on a sort of trial run, and then I'll grab the rest in a minute. This, this is what I like to call Death Valley. Look at this. Look at how open this is with no cover. Wow. What, you dropping me what? Are you sure? Hey, I'm, I'm giving guns. Yeah, I'm oh. giving guns away to people. Who... Well, thank you very much, dude. Okay. You're a legend. What's your name? Lad. Um, you are a lad. Thank you. This hazmat suit's actually really valuable as well. Oh no, I want to go up there towards train yard. Like I said last episode, guys. 
a lot of you have been asking for some longer videos showing a little bit more of the wipe and that is exactly what I'm trying to bring you this series. It's a lot more of the grind and showing you literally start to finish how I play Rust and hopefully you guys are enjoying it. You certainly did enjoy the first episode so thank you very much for that. I can't remember where the thing is here. Um, the bubbler. So this is going to be a little bit of trial and error. Not in... Oh, my fucking footsteps, man. Not in that one. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. I was just pop shotting. Oh, I didn't even have a sash. At least have some. Okay. How very very strange. Well now, all of a sudden, we have a lot of loot that we kind of don't want to lose. Oh, a green milli box though. Oh, well, I'll take that, to be honest. Oh, I don't need goggles. Goggles are skin. Yeah, go away. What's in this one? Ah, the bubbler. That's my boy. With a couple of pumpkins in it. All right. Let's get this done. Let's actually shut that. God, I have so much stuff to recycle. God, I am so stacked right now. Please, God, let no one come near me. Incredible, incredible haul. 250 scrap. That guy giving us a DB and a rad suit. All of the other bits and the low grade so that we can make some fire arrows. Maybe another furnace if we want. Oh, God, that is right the way I need to go, dudes. Sugar. Okay, we need to take a drastic, drastic dip. Oh, shit. <laughs> I have so much stuff to get home right now. Yes, let's go. Come on. Come on, let's get some hype for that little recycle run. Okay. God, we are balling, guys. We are absolutely freaking balling. There's 250 in there. We've got 300 scrap already. Love it. Um, attempt to chuck that out because it's pointless. Actually, let's use that. Let's grab some of that. Let's make some fire arrows dead quick. Fire arrows. Um, yeah, we'll make 15. Why not? Let's go dead quickly. Just raid that TC of that base that's close to us. Probably won't have anything in. Obviously the stone. It's not going to have any stone in because the base is decaying around it. The stone walls. But I've, I'm hoping there might be a, perhaps a bit of sulfur in there. Maybe some scrap. Who knows. It could have anything in it. Maybe even if it's just got some metal ore in. Maybe a bit of wood. It do, or some cloth. It doesn't matter to me. Anything is valuable right now. How does that hurt me man? Nothing. Nothing. Empty. No biggie though. No biggie, no biggie, no biggie. I did see another one on my travels. That could probably have nothing in. But maybe it's got something and that's the game we're in right now. Actually I'm gonna I'm gonna wait out the night now. Let's get some let's get a little bit done actually. Let's dead quickly grab my research table. The reason guys, um, I know a lot of you asked me on my last video why I put it away and don't leave it out. It just takes up a lot of space, and you can pick it up and it does no damage to it. You pick it up, it doesn't actually lose any damage, so it's pretty cool. It's just nice to keep it out of the way and keep the base a little less cluttered. So, I am actually dead quickly going to learn the pistol bullet, because I learned one of my revolvers. And that is like it. And then we can get some guns on the go, although I don't know if I've got any pipes now. Urgh. Yes. How much are you? 250, right? Ah, we're not going to have enough after I just learnt that. Oh. No, we need a little bit more for that. No biggie, that's our next goal. Now, it is morning time. First thing, and I think what I'm going to risk is going and doing this little Yoke pistol raid. It's going to get me so countered, and if so, so be it. I can craft all this gear again. That's not the issue. I just don't... <laughs> I just don't want to lose, I just, I hate losing, you know? Looks as though the barrels overnight on this road have been squanched, have they? Yeah, it looks it, or is that a car? Like I say, if finding a sword would be great. I did have a quick look, it looks as though it is something like 38 machetes to get through a wood door, which is, yeah, a lot. That's a little bit more than I want to, I want to do right now. So I'm going to try and do the machetes, we are going to get counted, if so, so be it. Oh, I didn't really bring enough fucking bandages actually. These are just so loud, man. Especially next to so many rad towns and a road. 
great if these would be a little bit quicker, just to not leave me on the edge of my seat, you know? If you hear any background noise right now, it's my fan, because it's like... Eight. Oh, there's a dude. Just as I'm coming to the end, of course. Where the hell are you, dude? One each. No, he's got a sword on him. Please heal. No! Fucking hell. Oh, he's got a sword on him. Come on, respawn, you stupid fool. He had a sword on him. And like I've been saying to you guys, that's what we've been looking for so we could do these silent raids. To be honest, I'm going to gather... If I get there first, I'm going to gather the loot and go home. Kiki, do you love me? There he is. Well, at least it's a naked. There was a bow I think I left. Help yourself, dude. Oh no, I got it. Okay, cool. Clutch that headshot though, just as he got his. Wow. Okay, his base. Nice. Okay, dudes, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. If you offered me the swords from this raid, I would have bitten your hand off. So I'm just going to go back now. Area's hot, but if people are there, so be it. What do I lose? One gear set, a yoke pistol, and a crossy. I can craft it again. I've got like 30 foot of rope, I think. It's just keeping a, keeping a bit of a low profile. I could have come back with swords, but uh, we've got this far, haven't we? We've only got like 10, 11 shots to go. Still damaged. Two more. One more. Come on, baby. Show me no airlock. That's what I like. Not a lot in there. Really not a lot. But who cares, I'll take it. You know what? I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that indeed. The two swords and the extra gear set from that guy too. Really happy. Nice. I love early game raiding, guys. I love it. I know you guys do too. It is just honestly so fun. It's always so rewarding as well and so profitable. Because what did we use? 40, 36, I think, handmade shells. 35, 34, something handmade shells. That's nothing. It's nothing. And, I mean, I know we didn't get loads, but 33 scraps nothing to balk out. So, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Actually, dead quick as well. That does give me enough to start getting some double barrels on the go, but my next problem is going to be that I don't possess any pipes, so we've got to go and get some of them. That's why I haven't crafted any revolvers yet either, because we just do not have the pipes for it. Sucks, but... Stone tools, but I don't care. It's a farmer. Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. It, def it definitely fell on the floor. I haven't got it. Uh, take that. And that. Enjoy. Oh, you gotta be nice sometimes, guys, right? He was a nice guy. He didn't... He wasn't just salty. He didn't shout profanities at me. I don't want to build in here, mind, and I'd probably end up killing him again in a bit by accident, but you gotta be nice sometimes. Don't want people quitting the game over that, eh? Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. Right, I need more loot rooms. I need more loot room space, which I think is going to boil down to me having to pick through one of the walls of my base. Not a big issue, I do it a lot, I've got plenty of frags and wood to do it, but I just need to work out which side of my base I want to pick through, um, just to essentially make it secure, you know, and make sure I've got decent access to my loot, because I'm just so stacked in there now. Um, I could come out of there, I guess. I don't think, oh, it would let me place there. Ooh, you know, that is tempting, that. Nope. Nope. Yeah, this is going to be a lot. Probably won't even have enough stone. I thought I had loads, but it's probably not going to be enough to do this all. I might even have to do some in metal. Ah, that's going that's to suck.
Right, so that section is now entirely boxed in. I probably have enough wood to do this, actually. Can I build a even a triangle here? I can't. That sucks, man. Now they're all ready to craft. Time to activate my auto farm and pick through my own base. This is a little nice way of getting a little bit of extra room. I do this quite a lot, so let's get this done. And then we've got a little bit of extra storage room anyway. Just as the gunshots ring out around us, we are through to the outer core of our new base. That's not bad, that. A little bit of extra room for activities and stuff. Mm, I want to make this floor metal so people can't pick up. I probably... Yeah, I definitely want to do that, actually. Oh, he's dead. Nice. He barely put up a fight. I love it. Ooh, med sticks. Yes! That's actually so good. Wow, and there are only 75 scraps of research, obviously, so that's good. I obviously need to grind now is scrap and stuff. And we need to really, really chug along for the bean can and the satchel. Normally you find them so, like, they're so common. This wipe, I've really been struggling. Everybody's just running down these roads, grabbing all the boxes, and then not hitting any of the barrels and taking off. As you can see, no boxes around here, so I'm going to try and do that as much as I can myself, to be honest. I do you really wish they turned the spawns down for acoustic guitars? They're so pointless, man. I should really go and do a little bit more farming now, to be honest. I want to slap some nodes. There are This is not a very sulfur-rich area. I've got enough. I've got a K and a bit GP already crafted up and stuff. There's not that many sulfur nodes. I'm going to go hit that mountain over there for some stuff, though. See if I can get some nodes, because this base is, is taking a little bit. We've got 55 hours on the TC. What is annoying, though, is because of the altitude, the angle I've built that at, in the gradient of the wall, I can only get one, two, three, four doors to my main loop. Which sucks, man. Ah, that does suck, but hey ho, hey ho, hey ho. There's gunshots out here somewhere. Oh, I see him. I see him, I see him, I see him. God, I wish I'd got a ranged weapon. I could have crafted a revolver. See how open this is? I'd love it if there was some cover for me to hide in with my DB. Somebody put a door on that base? Yeah, they have. Okay. I missed him. Fuck. Oh, God. God, he's not a good shot. Oh, let's go. What was he doing? <laughs> let's go. Oh, my God. Upgrades, boys. That was my first double barrel crafted. First kill. Immediately walked out of the base and got that. Oh my god, buzzing. Buzzing right now. You guys will be going mad in the comments. Bandage, bandage. Bandage before you med syringe so you don't lose that damage on the bleeding. But, oh goodness. Wow, I'm pumped now. Wow, it's not that much loot, but the semi-rifle and bullets is in incredible. Madness. Thank you guys so freaking much for watching today's video. Um, please do leave a like if you have enjoyed. We've raided, we've built, we've murdered, we've killed. We've got so much stuff. Um, next episode, we need to push on satchel bean can sort of stuff. Maybe more early game raids. Plus, I want to get that upgraded to a level 2, so we need to grind our scrap. I have plenty to recycle and stuff. Um, plus, we need to hit the road. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will catch you in the next one. I've been Tills, you've been Legends. Peace out.